Today we're going to show you how to set up the brand new Epson SureColor S30 printer from beginning to end. Let's get started. So it's important before the printer arrives you make sure you have everything you need to set the machine up. Uh, we recommend you have two furniture dollies, just standard dollies that look just like this. Um, these will be used, as you can see, to put under each side of the pallet to make it easy to move around. It's also important you have uh, power prepared for when this machine arrives. The S30 requires two standard 110 volt power plugs. Each power plug requires 10 amps, equaling a total of 20 amps. If you choose to use the optional dryer, it will require an additional 1 amp plug. For more information about the specific power requirements, please see our pre-install checklist at proimaging.epson.com. So now we'll give you a brief overview of what's in each one of these boxes. On the top of the machine, you'll get some sample rolls, some demo media. It gives you a chance to try some new medias maybe you haven't used before. The next box is our substrate support system. This includes the take-in and the take-up reel. The bottom box includes the printer and the stand. And it's real important you have plenty of space to be able to set the printer up. So let's get started. So now we're going to start unpacking the printer. The first thing you're going to want to do is remove the sample media from the top of the printer. Set it aside because you'll use it later. First thing you want to do is get the user guide kit. It's actually located right here behind the sticker. And all you gotta do is pull it up, pull off the sticker, reach in and grab that user guide kit. Inside the user guide kit is a number of pieces. There's two power cables. These are the power cables we'll use to plug the printer into the wall. We also included a user guide kit inside a binder. This has all of your documentation, instructions, as well as a software CD. It also has a knife. This knife will allow us to cut the media, but more importantly right now, it'll help us unpack the printer. Your printer may have included an Onyx Gamma Print Pro rip. This rip is a Windows-only rip that includes a hardware key and the software CD, allowing you to install it for use with your S-Series printer. All right, so now we're going to cut off the plastic. So if there are any straps holding the substrate support system to the printer or the pallet, you're going to want to go ahead and cut those. These three yellow ones actually hold this box together, so you don't want to cut those just yet. It's also important you have a couple people help you out. So I'm going to have Ryan come in and help me take the substrate support system off. We'll set it aside and we'll come back to it in a little while. There are nice little handholds here that you can punch out with your hand to get a better grip of the substrate support system when you're taking it off. You ready, Ryan? One, two, three. So we're just going to cut the plastic off the printer now. You can also cut the straps. Now Ryan, come on and we'll take the lid off the top of the printer. Wait, one, two, three. So you can see we've exposed the printer. There's actually two cross members which are part of the stand. There's an end of the stand uh, in each one of these boxes. And it's also important, the first thing you do is grab all of the hardware. After you remove the bubble wrap, you'll see you have a waste ink bottle. You have two brackets which you'll assemble to the stand later to hold the waste ink bottle. You'll have a couple of safety stickers you can put on later if you speak uh, a different language. You have a maintenance kit which you'll use later uh, to maintain the printer. It's not used today at all. And probably the most important part is you have all of the bolts and screws as well as a wrench that we can use to assemble the stand. Next we're going to take the two ends of the stand out and set them up in front of the printer. So you just got to cut the tape. Set across the middle are two pieces of the stand. Let's set those in front of the printer as well.
So now we're gonna assemble the stand. The first thing you wanna do is hold up the end pieces and grab the horizontal strut. So we'll grab those, Ryan. Slide the horizontal strut into the channels. Just like that. All the way till it reaches the bottom. Then you wanna grab the wrench that came with the hardware and make sure you use the long end. Slide it into the end, there's a hole for it, and just go ahead and tighten that horizontal strut down. There's two bolts on each side you wanna make sure you tighten down. Excellent. Now here's two bolts for the second horizontal strut. We'll go ahead and hold that into place. We're just gonna finger tighten the horizontal strut. And then afterwards we can come back by with the wrench and tighten them down completely. Perfect. Now that the stand is fully assembled and all the bolts have been tightened, we have to do one more thing before we can put the printer on top. And that is to assemble the part that holds the waste ink tank. Hook the waste tank holder into place. You have to slide the bolt holder into place. Finger tighten the screws. And then that snaps into place right there. And it uses one more bolt. We're almost ready to put the printer on to the stand. But before we do that, there's a few things you want to do. First is make sure all the hardware is ready. There's three bolts that hold the printer onto the stand. Next, you want to secure the casters on both sides. The wheels should be locked and the feet should be put all the way to the ground. You want to make sure you secure both sides so when you're trying to load the printer onto the stand, the stand does not move. Now we're going to move all the foam and the plastic from around the printer. The printer ships with two carrying bars. This will help you load the printer onto the stand and actually make it quite simple and safe to load the printer on.